right? Brock Taylor Howard. Brock Taylor Howard. Brock Taylor Howard Shy. Brock Taylor Howard Shy. Brock Taylor Howard. Brock Taylor Howard. Brock Taylor Howard Shy. Brock Taylor Howard Shy. Brock Taylor Howard. Brock Taylor Howard. Brock Taylor Howard Shy. Brock Taylor Howard Shy. All praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and to all the saints rocking out there pressing the truth and sincerity. What's up, brother? Bunya. Shmaryala again. You know, I just wanted to uh, go into this uh, this uh, post, you know, uh, from this lady, you know, uh, that the brother came across, you know. It, even though it's, a, uh, you know, an older article, you know, this, this is still the mindset of these people today. You know, especially now with the uh, whole coronavirus, That's you right. know, uh, them uh, acting as if uh, uh, dark skin is a curse. Uh, I believe it was uh, 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 the Ramla, you know, came out with a, a recent lesson, you know, breaking down how uh, uh, the more the book, I mean, the more I said the morons, the, uh, the Mormons, you know, how they teach that uh, black skin was a curse, you know. But, uh, hey, without further ado, we're just going to dive into the lesson. We ain't going to get too far, you know. Left of, if anything, we'll do a part two to it, you know, breaking that down. But uh, you want to read yeah, the article? Okay, okay. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this is a, a Facebook post that um, I actually came across this uh, this late. A brother has sent this to me, um, and I thought it was interesting of what they were speaking about because <clears throat> this is actually um, prophecy of what is actually happening with um, the so-called white man and woman uh, who is Esau Edom according to the Bible of, you know, why they think <clears throat> the way they do. But without further ado, I'm going to read the article or the, the post and then we're going to uh, bring out some scriptures to uh, combat what she's saying and, you know, just, uh, hey, confound, confound people who think this way. But uh, again, it, it says... If Jesus, and I speak it verbatim for what it reads, um, it says, if Jesus was black, God would have shown favor against his people. But instead, God has shown favor to our race because we are the chosen people. To call my Lord and Savior black is an insult. Our Lord could never be a Gentile. God has given dominion over the planet to whites. For a reason. He has also punished black people for a reason as well. I don't believe God would have created his only son from darkness who would choose a black child. Let's be real here. All I'm saying is that we all know that God is white. For black people to claim our Lord as being one of them is a complete insult to my faith. It should be an insult to yours as well. <laughs> hey, but, hey, she got a point on one thing. It says God has given dominion over the, the planet to whites for a reason. Well, she just set <laughs> herself up in a trick bag. That's right. Because uh, this, is, this is Job chapter 9 verse 24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Mm -hmm. If not, where and who is he? right you know and, and who has uh, covered up the face of the judges you so-called white people you know eat them Esau you know hey you proclaimed yourself to be uh, the, uh, the superior race you know when uh, hey the Lord said if we go off hey we supposed to be uh, under a curse you know and this is a uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28 uh, verse 15 it says but if thou but it shall come to pass that if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You know, so that's the reason why we're, we're not uh, uh, prospering is because we sinned and uh, we went off, you know, and through uh, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we're slowly coming back to that power, you know, and those curses are being lifted. You know, go ahead. Uh, what was the next point we was going to? Because she said, uh, Jesus was black. And <laughs> so, fair to my people, <laughs> which is total blasphemy. Because uh, uh, white skin, you know, like uh, Apostle brought up, is the curse of leprosy, you know. 
uh, one example, uh, Moses put his hand in his bosom, took it back out, you know, white as snow. You know? You might have to just get that. Come, come. Or, uh... Uh, he turned Miriam completely. Yeah, Miriam. Yeah, yeah, Miriam. That, that that happened to Miriam. Matter you of know? fact. And when you go when you go through our history, you look at that history. Hey, uh, all the nations would have would have uh, had melanin. You know, darker skin. Uh huh. Matter you know, of you fact, had different variations of it, but of course, it was all black. Because, like I said, white skin, blonde hair, you know, red <laughs> hair. Hey, that was a curse. Um, I think yeah, you already grabbed that. Um. Uh, what was the scripture? Miriam turned. Miriam, Miriam turned white. Miriam. Salakia. So type in Moses' sister's turn white. You know? Salakia. Spell her name. <laughs> yeah, I think. <clears throat> This is uh, Numbers chapter 12, verse 10. It says, and, and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. Right. She was uh, uh, turned completely white. It's because when you go, like I said, when you go into the, uh, the curse of leprosy, you know, if uh, a thing had uh, uh, lep uh, white spots, you know, kind of like a leper, mm -hmm. it was considered unclean. Mm -hmm. You know, but... Uh, when it turned completely white, then it was uh, considered clean, you know. Mm -hmm. But either way it go, it was still a leper, and there was a time that they could not could come back, you know. But Esau is up; uh, his uh, his curse was the curse of leprosy, and there's no recovering from that, you know. Uh, in a nutshell, you know, mm -hmm. not the. And then <clears throat> this is uh, verse eleven says, and, and Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my lord, I beseech thee. Lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. Right. Let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is half consumed. Right. And, hey, that, that's, that's another cut. <laughs> uh, your flesh comes ha uh, is half consumed. Mm -hmm. You know? Because, uh, you, uh, like you said, had no melanin. You know, you're easy to get sunburned. Uh, uh, you're easy to get skin cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. Uh, it says when he comes out of his mother's womb. You know, you don't, you, when you're born, you're not, you don't have your, uh, your full uh, hue. You know, uh -huh. you're... Uh, <laughs> you're pasty <laughs> you're pale but you know according to you know jake babies they 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 have color but it's not as like you said it's not full hue yet you're still a little little pale looking yeah you, you eventually know? turn uh your, uh your original color uh-huh and that, that, it's no no because like that's there's, 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 like it's like it's because I, I, i'm gonna make a point with that because it says and moses cried unto the lord yahweh saying heal her now Oh power, I beseech thee. So she had to be healed. That what does that what does that say? What does that mean? Yeah, because she was an Israelite. She was originally of mm -hmm. a, a darker complexion. Mm -hmm. And the day he asked that the Lord <laughs> turned her back. Hey, that was scary unto them. Mm -hmm. you know, they wasn't used to seeing uh, people without uh, hume. And then when you go into the word, uh, uh, was it red or uh, uh, Edom? It means uh, wasted away. Wasted away. God. You know, his skin is literally wasted mm -hmm. away. The blood show forth through the skin. God. It doesn't have the hue. You know, and then like, hey, that right there proves the fact of the matter that to have so-called white skin, pale white skin, is a curse. And he, she needed to be healed from it. <laughs> so you had to be healed. It was a disease. God. You know, um... Then you jump on the fact that she said, uh, you know, he was uh, uh, her savior, her sweet Jesus, which his name wasn't Jesus Christ. You know, his, his real name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. That's right. That's you right. You know, because he didn't, he, wasn't, he didn't speak Greek and it wasn't no J's uh, pre existent to the 15, uh, 14, 1500s. That's right. You know? Because uh, when you go into that Greek word, that Greek word is Iesus, and Iesus. <laughs> Or Isos, whatever you want to call it. Hey, but that's Greek. He didn't. He didn't speak Greek. He was a Hebrew. 
It says uh, Revelation chapter uh, uh, 1 verse 13. It says, in the, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, girded about with his paps with a golden girdle, and his hair on his head were like wool, or it's like were white like wool, you know? And what kind of uh, animal has woolly hair? A, a sheep, you know? AKA black folk, you know, you know, right? So called uh, <clears throat> uh, Negroes, you know, so called, uh, you know, some, uh, some, you know, uh, Latino Native Americans, you know, we have a, uh, we have thicker, uh, thicker hair, you know, that's right. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, Judah in particular, you know, have that, that woolly, that thick, woolly hair. It says, as white as snow, and his eyes were like flames of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if it had burned in the uh, furnace, and his voice like the sound of many waters. And when you look at brass, brass is, uh, you know, brown, you know, and when you burn it in the fire, get a little, uh, little browner, a little darker, you know. What was the other point she had made? Unless you had something else. No, I'm going to go back. It's yep. That's why I kind of slice, you know, slice out what she's saying, you know. Uh... So I don't believe God would have created his only son from darkness. Uh, like that beginning. Who? It says, but instead, instead show favor unto the race. It says, would have shown favor unto his people, but instead God has shown favor unto our race and has chosen. And we, it's like, and we are chosen. We are the chosen people. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah and that, that's what. Kind of, that's why I brought up that Job you know, 9 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Mm -hmm. So, hey, technically, if, if y'all were the people, and the black folks should be ruling, you know, the so called uh, Latino and Native Americans, you know, mm -hmm. we should be in power. But look what it says. That's why I said earlier that she has, she's right about one thing <laughs> the, the earth has been given over to the given to the hands of the wicked. And right. it says, and, uh, unto them. Yeah, that's, just, that's what you said. She said, uh, God has given dominion over the planet to whites. For a reason, right. so-called white man. <laughs> hey, this is that reason. <laughs> come on, come on. Um, this is Isaiah twenty-six, uh, verse ten, and it reads: "Let favor be shewed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness?" Right, and, and the so-called white man has <clears throat> not learned righteousness. Neither will he learn righteousness. Uh, what the uh, scripture say? Let me get it. My part. Uh, you can finish that. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, "In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly, and will not?" Be uh, be slacky and will not behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh. Right, and uh, read that part again, slacky. It says, "In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly?" And he has dealt unjustly through his uh, policies, his uh, laws. You know, the uh, the rape, robbery, murder of uh, many countries. You know, everywhere he goes, there there's nothing but death and destruction. Mm -hmm. Jim Crow laws. Okay. Uh, Man, it, it, it the list goes. It's on. got it's got so bad where there was, there was a law, um, um, reckless eyeballing, where you couldn't even look at a, a so-called white person, okay. or you'd get put in jail. <laughs> Type of kind of unfair law is that, you know, Un, unconstitutional, un, whatever, un, unlawful, un, unhuman, un, <laughs> inhumane. Okay. You know, hey, there's so many words you can describe for it, it's just not right. <laughs> yeah, right. He's not upright. It says, I'm just reading again, it says, In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not be behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh. You know, he has no regard for uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know? You know, he doesn't regard the power in any type of conversation. As a matter of fact, the so-called white man thinks he's the power. <laughs> <laughs> to try to put his, himself in the place of the Lord. You know? Yep. Um, you, you know? Go ahead. Keep going. Okay. It says, Lord Yahweh, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see. But they shall see and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. God. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and, and <laughs> just like it said, you know, let the fear be shown unto the wicked, you know, and that, that's why the wicked are prospering right now. Mm -hmm. You know, this is uh, Sirach. Salakia. This is uh, Sirach chapter 12 verse 10. It said, Never trust thine enemy like as iron rusted so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go a crouching 
yet take heed and beware of him. And though though thou shalt be sorry, and though thou shalt be unto him as though thy wife the looking glass, and thou shalt know that the rust thereof had not altogether mm -hmm. been uh, wiped away. Mm -hmm. You know? So yeah, it is just uh, just like it's, like I said, you know, he go uh, uh, crouching, you know, trying to play the uh, the uh, the innocent, you know. Hey, but behind the closed doors, hey, he's still the wicked, mm -hmm. you know. You know, these Edomites are very, especially here where we're at in Wisconsin, they're very passive aggressive, you know. Okay. You know, they're not gonna be up right front with you, you know. They're gonna stab you in the back. Okay. You're not looking. Um, you know, they they they've always been that way. They're the devil. You know, there's the deceiver. That's right. You know? <clears throat> but that was it on that. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Um, this actually leads me into, because they were talking about what's going to happen to him, the future prophecy of Esau Edom, when when you, the, the, the Lord Yahweh uh, makes his, uh, his his grand opening. I mean, his grand... Uh, grand appearance. Grand, grand appearance, God. Um <clears throat> And, and what and what what's going to end up happening to so-called uh, Edomites like uh, uh, Kathy Urban? Um, this is uh, Jeremiah 16, uh, chapter. I mean, it's like it, chapter 16, verse 19, and it reads: It says, "O Lord Yahweh, my strength and my fortress, and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth." Right, and that word Gentiles is talking about Israelite, Israelite foreigners, mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> and shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies. No, that's talking about that, Salaki. That, that, that's from the scripture thing. It's talking about Esau, Edom. Kind of, kind of. But no, yeah, I was, I was addressing uh, her uh, comment. So, oh. so like it. No, she said, uh, and never... Uh, I love oh, the kind, 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 kind. Okay, kind, so that, kind, that's just pretty much, you know, cut to her, you know. Mm -hmm. kind, kind, kind. But yeah, go ahead with that. Yeah. Slide it on that one. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm going to start over. This is uh, Jeremiah 16, uh, verse 19. It says, O Lord Yahweh, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies. Vanity and things wherein there is no profit. What are some of the what are some of the lies that the so-called uh, that Caesar Borgia is uh, Yahweh Shai? Um, that, that 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 they are the rightful people of Yahweh Shai. As she said, you know, um, <laughs> the list goes on. <laughs> you know, it says, "Shall a man make uh, gods unto himself?" And they are no gods. Hey, Caesar Borgia, you know? You know? Now um, it says, Therefore, behold, I will, I will this once cause them to know, I will cause them to know mine hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord Yahweh. That's right. Hey, hey so hey, hey, the, the Lord going to prove, you know, he going to prove uh, who he is. Hey, when, when he cracked the sky, <laughs> and you don't see uh, no, no, no red man coming down, you know. Long, stringy, uh, hair looking like a uh, right. hippie. You're going to be in for a rude awakening, you know. Rude awakening. You know, so your right. whole was hot is coming back with the, uh, the heavenly host. And mm -hmm. it's coming to wreak havoc mm -hmm. on you Edomites, you so-called, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the so-called white man. Edom, Esau Edom, which is the devil. God. You know, so, Go ahead. Uh, it just, I don't mean to uh, bust your bubble. <laughs> but your so-called Jesus is a very dark-skinned, big, strong so-called black man. <laughs> and right, <You're> right. <laughs> you know. So with that, you know, I give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Karkadash, the ones, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Right. Peace and salutations to all the sincere. I came out there pressing the truth and sincerity. With that. Shalom. Shalom. We got it.